Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to Rule the Waves 3, a new strategy and tactical war and strategy game. Oh my goodness, so many buzzwords! Uh, released by Naval Warfare Simulations, published by Matrix and Slytherin Games. And you probably don't need more than that, because this is episode number, what, 19 now? We've been going for a while on this one. Uh, we're at war with Austria-Hungary, we're playing as Italy, and we're about to fight a fleet battle. Um, we haven't done much for Italy. We have fought a couple of wars, but we haven't gained any real territory yet. Our hope is we can take Dalmatia in this war against Austria-Hungary uh, to link up to Albania, which is the one area we have taken and held on to so far. Uh, but we'll see if that, uh, if that pans out. With that being said, guys, I'm going to jump right back into this. This was taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel. So without further ado, away we go. A fleet battle. Fleet battle, seven battleships versus ten, seven armored cruisers versus eight, six light cruisers versus two. That's a lot of enemy destroyers. Okay, well, this will be a big one. This could change a lot. We have three squadrons of heavy ships in the south, and we've got some screening vessels. We've got Bari just to our south, So, and again, with Albania on the other flank, we do have places to retreat. The fleet will make battle speed. Uh, why is that 15 knots for you? Really? That's your... Oh, my God. Well, the THGs are in the lead of the battle <laughs> fleet. And they can't make more than 18 knots. Why can't I select this group? Okay. Why is Battle Division 2 only making 14 knots? It's got to be the Kaios. Okay, so here's the enemy fleet. Our light ships are approaching. Partially cloudy weather. Let's see what they've got. There's no way that's a transport in the van. All right. We're opening fire the enemy armored cruiser, the Lisa. Monoliths go... These are monoliths, right? No, they're mandate classes. These are our older destroyers. Okay. Let's see if we can take out their screening vessels first. They don't actually... They only have one heavy ship in this, this line. Then we'll just build more if we lose more ships. That's my motto. If you build it, more will come. Also, why are you sailing way out in that direction? I can't even control you. I'm not sure why. Why is the Lisa also doing... Pause. Pontier is going to charge up behind... The Lisa. Meanwhile, at least one of their destroyers might already be sinking. I don't know what these guys are doing, and I, I can't control them either, which is frustrating. Meanwhile, our battleships are still coming up inconsistently because of the differences in speed. But it looks like the origin is sinking. Lisa is picking off her destroyers as they try and catch up to her.
Well, link character is sinking, so I'm going to lose that whole forward destroyer flotilla, I think. The only battleship line is forming up. We'll form up too. We'll try to cross their T as they come south to join us. A lot of shells coming in on our armored cruisers, presumably from their battleships. Lines are forming. A lot of enemy shell fires coming in on these cruisers here. Okay, these light cruisers should riddle the Lisa at close range with their light guns. No, we're shooting at one of our friendlies. I remember you. You were one of mine once. Back in the good old days before the last war when we had to give you up as reparations. Man, that whole charge on the uh, enemy like, cruiser there was kind of pointless. Did not work out in our favor, huh? We lost a flotilla of destroyers for it. The Lisa's trying to pull back. She is on fire, suffering heavy damage. Battle line moves slowly and steadily. The Lisa's withdrawing into the cover of her own ships. The van of our task force are the light cruisers. There's to Carl, we will charge you with our torpedoes. Moving at 10 knots, strange. I'm sending the, st the turbine and her four or five compatriots through the enemy line. No one's going to fire any torpedoes, though, apparently. And some of them are going to start sinking. You know, I sent you there with the hope that you would start firing torpedoes. Just, just a thought. That's your whole purpose and your whole existence. Not just to die. But it appears all you're going to do is die. Someone fired one. Yeah! Minerva hit by a torpedo. All right, these are much longer ranges, but our fire control tech has definitely progressed. I don't know that we're scoring any hits. It doesn't look like we are. All right, Turbine, I think you fired the torpedo that sank the enemy, so at least you did good.
Hey, and one of our destroyers collided with an enemy battleship. At least did some damage. Even if the battleship almost certainly won. All right, boys. Close the distance. These armored cruisers are really probably taking the brunt of the enemy fire. They're taking some heavy hits, too. Really need to get my battleships in close to have a chance. Otherwise, I'm just going to lose heavy ships to no purpose. All right, battleships, charge forth. Let's speed things up a little. Right, that enemy destroyer was sunk, at least. It's kind of a pursuit at this phase. I, I mean, I can't really tell. It seems like they're turning away from me. Let's pause. Should I go... Go get survivors. All right. Okay, so let's get the Minerva. She seems to be trailing. That would be good. Light like cruisers are taking some hits. The lead heavy cruiser, Francisco, is taking quite a bit of damage. Can I detach her? Is that enough damage to detach? No. Okay. All right, Minerva seems to be slowing. So we're going to cut the armored cruisers across her front. Close in and maybe finish her off if she's badly damaged with three armored cruisers coming across her front. She is dead in the water. George seems to be maybe badly damaged too. She's at least on fire, so we'll bring our armored cruisers over here. And our light cruisers. Enemy Minerva's hit by a torpedo, presumably the one back here. Our destroyers just passed in close, the ones that were trailing our armored cruisers here. Lisa's dead in the water. Panto is doing okay. St. George is. Well, she's still sailing. Let's get our light cruisers in. Turn that battle squadron in. Go get the Minerva again. Or actually get the Lisa. They both might be sinking. That's got to be the hope, but... Our light cruisers are burning through their ammo real fast. All right, the St. George up here was hit by one of our light cruisers, a torpedo. So that's two armored cruisers hit by torpedoes for the enemy. Hey, 
Hey, Mexicans, how you doing? Long time no see. Mainly because I haven't been streaming. Right. Oldenburg's dead in the water. St. George, I'm assuming, is going to sink. Lisa and Minerva will hopefully sink. We left them well behind. I didn't even realize we had two battleships back here doing nothing. Those are the Cavadulios. Okay, well, they're the crappy ones, so probably not a terrible idea. Okay. We're a little bit disorganized, which is making me a little nervous. Let's see if we can get these two armored cruisers up north here. I haven't really done much with their battleships. I think we engaged them slightly before they started running. Another destroyer going down. Medium damage on one of their battleships there, apparently. But we've been hitting their armored cruisers hard. Trying to get that destroyer into the heart of their fleet to fire torpedoes. Uh, well, ship blew up, magazine hit. <laughs> Ostro fired a torpedo at the San George. Looks like it must have been at very long range. I'm hoping and assuming enemy, en any enemy ships that are dead in the water are sinking. I got very strung out and a lot of my ships are like half my battleships are out of the fight. Doesn't seem to matter as much though, given that it seems like the bulk of the enemy fleet is running. We are losing a lot of destroyers though. All right. St. George sank. We definitely took some damage on some of these ships based on speeds that are available to us. What is back here anyway? Destroyer. All right, well, it looks like the enemy, the rest of the enemy fleet's going to make it out. I guess we should turn back on Oldenburg, just make sure she sinks. I think this will definitely be a major victory. We sank three or four of their armored cruisers, and I don't think we lost any.
All right, get that Corvette. Get it. Get it. Yeah. All right, scenario's over. Italian victory. So we lost eight destroyers sunk, so that was like a third of our destroyer fleet. The enemy lost six, though. Granted, they have almost double our destroyers, but anyway, it's not like they didn't lose any destroyers. The enemy also lost a Corvette, so seven light ships to eight in their favor. However, four enemy armored cruisers were sunk, and our battleships and light armored cruisers suffered almost no damage. That is a huge victory for us. That should change the complexion of things. Yes, they still have more battleships, but their heavy cruiser force is crippled now at that point. 3,000 victory points for us, 890 for them. We gain a prestige point. The latest army offensive turned into a bloody stalemate with appalling loss of life. Well, do I get my money back now? Nine destroyers are commissioned into the Navy. Combat reports indicate that our standard torpedo has serious deficiencies. May I respectfully remind you that you endorsed this model a couple of years back. So really? I don't think I did. Bury that report. The problem can be solved with some modification. Apparently I was mistaken. Do whatever it takes to fix the problem. Negative prestige minus 800 per month. I mean, I want to make my torpedoes better, so I'll spend whatever I have to spend. Gain 270 victory points for blockade of the enemy. <laughs> We're blockading the enemy now. All right. There you go. Um, so let's resume construction on that battleship. And all right. So what does the almanac look like? Austria Hungary still has four more battleships than us, but tonnage is basically even. They have nine armored cruisers, really? Still nine? I thought we sank did they have we sank four. They didn't have thirteen, did they? Or did they build two new ones? Um they only have three light cruisers left. They do have forty two destroyers, so they outnumber us there. And they're building a bunch of Corvettes and a few subs. We're actually building more subs than them. We've been at war for six months, and they're now blockaded. Hell yeah. Okay. So victory, hopefully, in this war. Give me Dalmatia. I could plan an amphibious invasion of Dalmatia, right? To actually take it. Set invasion target. Cruiser action. Okay. Do they even have cruisers left to fight? All right. Light cruisers by the looks of it. They'll probably hit us with heavies. But we do have a flotilla of destroyers in our, in our pocket. Let's see what they got. All right. They've got at least two ships. Four ships. I feel like those characters in Top Gun. Two pair, three pair. Oh my god! All right, destroyers. The lead ships that came down to engage us are destroyers. The rest of them seem to be running. They're probably faster than me, though, so their destroyers will be able to escape. My destroyers don't really have guns. I mean, they do, but they really don't. Remember, they we sacrifice like everything for torpedoes. So let's try and close with their light cruisers, because I don't really want to just fight a little piddly little pop gun war with destroyers. I don't know if we'll get there in time before they reach Catero, but we'll see. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I should have gone max rather than battle speed. They're all going to run away. Blockade Catero. Draw, no one did anything. All right, 
Another destroyer commissioned to the Navy. Turrets and gun mountings improved design. Invasion of Dalmatia due to insufficient force superiority. Okay. Three friendly merchants sunk by enemy subs. One by a raider. Their subs are 10 months away. Um, I'm spending money on subs, aren't I? Let's cut the intel against Germany. Resume one of our armored cruisers. The enemy is preparing to invade Albania, but they're blockaded. Okay. There's an invasion fleet battle, so let's go stop them. All right, we've got battleships, destroyers, armored cruisers. The only bad thing is the weather's not great. I'm assuming the enemy will come from the north, but I, I don't know if that's true. Okay, there we go. Oh, they're in the south. Shit. Good thing it uh, opened up weather-wise. All right, let's get our speed up. Your battleship's really that so low? Sea state limits speed? Fudge. Now, the intel report claimed the enemy only deployed three battleships for this invasion task force, which would give us a huge advantage if that's true. There's the enemy merchants. I see at least four heavy ships in battle line, although it looks uh, more than that. Right, my cruisers are dueling it out up north as they run from the enemy battleships. And battleships are coming south. It's like Jutland! Man, that's a big fleet. Intel, you were wrong! Alright, cruisers. Pause, pause. Cruisers. I can't control you. You're too far away. No line of sight. Damn. Okay. That is a pretty big fleet. I got to go stop the transports, though. They're, they're what matters. So these guys down here. Squadron Max, get in amongst them. Hey, Battle Division 1, don't be stupid. You're probably close enough that someone could just shout at you. So yeah, this is not three battleships and just a small portion of their fleet. This is like their whole damn fleet. Glad my cruisers are up there all by themselves now. Meanwhile, I'm sending my armored cruisers in to deal the enemy fleet a blow. I can always retreat into harbor, considering it is an amphibious invasion of our own territory. All right, get in amongst those merchants, though, and sink the bastards. Okay. It looks like most of their merchants or most of their invasion fleet is dead in the water, which is hilarious. I haven't actually hurt their fleet all that badly, but... At this point, you'd turn around. You'd be like, well, not a good day for the Austro-Hungarian Navy. Because those armored cruisers just raced out there ahead of everybody else and just sprinted for it. And they got there in time.
So I think the entire invasion fleet is sunk. And my other cruisers are coming south. We're going to catch them in a pincer. Although I think they have more firepower than we do. And I'm certainly pretty disorganized. But maybe we can catch them in the confusion, get an armored cruiser or two like last time. Maybe they'll run away. We can catch their fleeing ships. But yeah, that invasion fleet is toast. Unless there's anything more, but I don't think there is. How are these cruisers doing anyway? No damage on the lead, that's good. Let's get this rear steer, that would be nice. Okay. So we're kind of off the I wonder if the AI ever rebuild ships. I feel like maybe they don't. If they don't, that would sure help us with their fleet being so old. Can I command any of you guys? I can. So how about you guys come back this way? Like why wouldn't you? You're not you're not shot up at all. I'm a little strung out. It's a little bit dangerous, but I think I've got three armored cruisers sailing up here against like half their fleet. Maybe this is foolish. Or at least I would have think sinking their invasion fleet should be a big victory for us. Oh no, one of our armored cruisers is dead in the water. She's taken a lot of hits. 35 medium hits. Can we detach her? Go to Albania. My destroyers are just POW picker-uppers at the moment. I do have a nice little assortment of battleships here, but I'm not going to catch their armored cruisers unless they're damaged. Or unless I get some lucky hits that slow them down. We sure are uh, putting our shells all around the stair, though. Maybe one one or two. You know, you shoot enough high volume. You have a high enough volume, and eventually you'll get a hit, right? What's over here? Oh, it's a destroyer. Looks like they're retreating, though. They're like, hey, we lost. Let's get out of here. Or at least our invasion failed. Stair is at least slower than the rest of their ships at the moment. She's only making 15 knots. The Roma class battleships are faster than that. Of course, charging headlong into the rear of the enemy fleet as they all shoot at your lead ship is perhaps dicey. So there's always the risk of torpedoes. I'm 
Man, you guys work on your aim. They're right there. Haha, they're turning around. Well, we got plenty of ships waiting for you. There we go. Nice hit there on the stair. I gotta assume I'll at least get this heavy. Appears to be dead in the water, which I'm assuming I'm going to assume means she's sinking. Let's see if we can get another one. Come on, boys, chase these invaders back home to where they came from. Budapest is kind of trailing back too. Maybe we can get a battleship. We've got two battleships in the rear here, really. Oh boy, let's pause. Okay, so I just like turbo speed through, <laughs> sped through a, a bit. Um, you guys get up here, try and get amongst the battleships. You might get yourself sunk, but. My own battleships are not, I don't know, I didn't tell them to sail back that way, but there was like a whole, you misunderstood your orders. My armored cruisers are taking a fair bit of damage. Can we get in amongst you guys and fire some torpedoes with our light cruisers? I don't like using the light cruisers like this, but... Destroyers are not organized because of all that search and rescue stuff. All right, they're getting shredded as they approach the Budapest here. I'd be okay with a ram. Minerva's taken quite a bit of damage, though. She's a flame. Budapest and Roma are going toe to toe here, yard arm to yard arm. Turn back. Thirty-two flooding. You head back to port. Dorizo, we're closer to that port now. I want you guys to come back into the fight. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that. Come back down by the Minerva. So Budapest is, I think, damaged. It's all a mess. Let's go get the stair. Panto's taken three heavy hits. Roma has taken three heavy hits. Fired a torpedo. I didn't see who. 
But I heard it. Right, Budapest appears to be dead in the water. Francisco Ferrucci was hit by a torpedo. That's one of ours. Fudge! Budapest fired it, I think. Try to get out of here to Durizo. Slow down. All right, Budapest is dead in the water. I'm hoping she's sinking. Marius is almost dead in the water. The other battleships are coming up. This is not uh, a textbook example of how to fight, but... We are doing quite a bit of damage. Wiped out the invasion task force. Sank at least one heavy cruiser, maybe a second here. Also, maybe a battleship. With the loss of possibly one armored cruiser, or maybe even zero. We'll see. Marius is dead in the water. Some enemy light cruisers are over here. Be nice if the Budapest would sag. I'm trying to get another armored cruiser up here, the stair. Stair will get away, but the Minerva looks like she's going to sink Budapest and Maros as well. You'd think if the enemy was so damaged that they can't they're not worth a torpedo. The game would tell you, hey, you're not, you know, they're just sinking, so let's not waste a torpedo. Anyway, we just hit that dead in the water armored cruiser with one. All right, Budapest sank. So one armored cruiser confirmed sunk. One battleship confirmed sunk. I think it's two armored cruisers, a battleship, the invasion task force, and maybe some lighter stuff. I think. So I think that about does it. That's a pretty big victory, I think. Should only strengthen our ability to blockade them. Okay, my ships are pulling into port. I don't know who's still at sea. I like how the game's like, they dominate the sea around Albania. Really? I don't think so. I don't think so. Italy is clearly the victor, so let's see what happened here. We didn't lose a single ship sunk. This is Nelsonian, boys. Not a single Italian ship sunk. Meanwhile, the enemy lost one of their 10 battleships, 
three of their seven armored cruisers, two of their destroyers, and all seven of their landing ships. Major victory, two prestige points, and 4,300 victory points. The enemy invasion has been averted. The Battle of Drowning Soldiers. A spy from Great Britain has been discovered. Uh, I don't want to go to war with Great Britain. Handle it discreetly. Examination of captured enemy munitions has helped our research in torpedo technology. Good. Enemy fleet dominates the sea around... How? I want to know how. Because there's no option to send them to the Adriatic. The Mediterranean is my only option. Our Russian ally joins the war against Austria-Hungary. Lol. Okay, boys. Let's take a look here. Austria-Hungary still has 10 battleships. They're building one. But our tonnage actually exceeds theirs now. They have seven armored cruisers. They had 11 not long ago. They're building two more. Three light cruisers. Still 41 destroyers, 27 corvettes, seven torpedoes with three building, or seven subs with three building. I'm pretty happy with that result. All right. Our budget is not happy. Um, God, I hate that I'm halting my armored cruisers that I need so badly, but it's the only way to get our budget somewhat under control. We're still a year away from any of this stuff arriving. I need more money. Why would... Uh, it, I mean, the same reason the U.S. spies on everybody, because when you're a superpower, you spy on everybody. It doesn't matter. They probably have one or two techs you don't have. Um, This guy needs a captain. Loose cannon, well-connected. Is there ever, but like, a genius? Does it ever say someone's like, a genius? Well, they do say incompetent, so... ROF enthusiast, does that make your ship more likely to blow up? What does Music Lover do? All right, so our crews are getting experienced and good. We've got a bunch of additional destroyers which are working up and will be in action to replace the losses we took. We've doubled up the enemy's victory points, so that's good. We have a Naval Academy, Lord Tillon. I'm, I'm assuming that has something to do with Officer quality. Okay. So we've been at war for eight months, and we have, at the very least, we have seriously degraded Austria-Hungary's cruiser capabilities. Well, they're no longer blockaded now. That's interesting. So if we go to the Mediterranean, Italian ships, four battleships. Austria-Hungary, nine. Oh, because our ships are repairing. That's probably why, from all the battles they've been fighting. Meanwhile, we haven't been doing much damage to their battleships. We've just been sinking their armored cruisers. Okay, that makes some sense. Uh, Russia is sending four battleships to our uh, to our area, so that'll help. All right, well, we don't have Austria-Hungary blockaded anymore, but the war seems to be going fairly well for us. We'll see how things play out in our next episode, though. Uh, we both won a fleet battle, destroying several enemy armored cruisers, and also turned back an invasion, destroying several enemy armored cruisers uh, in decisive fashion. We'll see if we can maintain that momentum in the following episodes, and if the home front can stay stable enough to prevent a revolution from kicking us out of the war, like our last war with France and Austria-Hungary. We'll see that next time, though. So until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I'm out. Bye-bye.